Hi folks, Gavin here from Player TV, and if you've ever wondered about dealing with your CPU, you've heard, heard about it on various communities online and you're wondering what it is and what it does and what it's all about, this video should hopefully answer some questions. So, answering the first question, what is delidding? Well, delidding is essentially removing the silicone around the edge of the CPU, which holds the IHS or integrated heat spreader um, from the CPU off of the PCB of the bot of the chip as well, the silicon, um, and replacing the stock paste that comes with the chip and replacing it with a higher end or aftermarket paste, which should give a better yield in temperatures because the paste that, that well, the Intel use is absolutely abominable. What's the best method of dealing in your CPU? Well, the only method that I, I've, well, I've used two methods in the past. I've used one with the hammer and vice method. Now that is not safe at all. It's very sketchy to say the least. My CPU pinged halfway across the room when I did it that method. What I do recommend is picking up one of these bad boys. This is the Dialid mate from Debauer. Now Debauer or Roman Hartung is one of the best overclockers in the world. He's one of the best engineering minds in terms of overclocking as well he's absolutely brilliant and he actually created and devised a tool which allows for not only to delete your cpus but safely as well i've deleted tens of cpus with this particular thing and every single dealer has had a hundred percent success rate if you can go down in the description below and there is actually a debauer dialed mate tool guide check it out um it's absolutely phenomenal and it's definitely saved my life on a few occasions well not life but it saved my chip's life on a few occasions so the testing method of how we're going to test the difference between cpu that has been delidded and non-delidded obviously the non-delidded nothing's been done to the cpu all that's been applied to it between you know the cooler um, and the chip is noctua nth1 thermal paste on the delidded test, I have removed the stock paste and put liquid, well, cool laboratory liquid pro in between, obviously, the die and the IHS. And then I've used Noctua NTH1 on the top. Also, to point out the testing method that I used, I basically run Prime95 with AVX enabled for five minutes, as you can see, for both at stock, um, with a stock paste and after a delid. Um, so the, the testing is pretty consistent throughout. In terms of test setup, you look, we've used the, as you can see, we've used the Asus Z270 Maximus 9 Apex. We've also used an in, the Intel Core i7-7700K, which was this one. Um, and we used Ballistics Elite 3000 MHz DDR4. Um, we used the Be Quiet Dark Rock, sorry, Dark Power Pro 11 1000 watt power supply, and we use the Corsair H100i V2 CPU cooler. We're gonna, I'm gonna be giving delta temperatures, which is basically room temp, um, which is basically, sorry, ignore that, it's core temp minus room temp gives you the delta temp, and it's a more consistent way. Um, you can Google it, it's very, very consistent. It's a lot easier, and you get more accurate results than just, you know, room temperature does change the temperature of your, of your CPU. And you, the ambient temperature at the time of testing for the delidding was 20.1, but I've done all the calculations on the mathematics for you, so you can easily digest it. So basically, um, the difference that I yielded from delidding the CPU, the i7-7700K, I got a difference, an average difference, and you can see I'll put it up here, I've got an average difference of 18.75 degrees delta. So just by delidding the CPU, changing the the, firm, the stock thermal paste and, you know, applying Cool Labs liquid metal paste, um, use, still using the same thermal paste between the IHS and the CPU cooler, um, I got nearly 19 degrees on average, you know, cooler. Now, that can be the difference between thermal throttling or even a system shutdown and having a very cool running CPU. Because let's be honest, having a, a CPU that's been heavily overclocked at 1.375 volts on a nice all-in-one cooler running below 80 degrees at maximum load of AVX is a very, very good temperature. Um, obviously, temperature differences at stock are going to be a lot, 
a lot different. It's going to run even cooler. You're probably not even going to hit 60 degrees with a deal with the chip. So as as you can see, the, as I've said, you know, the proof is there in the pudding. Everyone gets different results, but in my opinion, I hope this sort of helps. This video helps you debunk the myths between DeWid and your CPU, and is it worth it? In my opinion, it's definitely worth it. 19 degrees is a very good saving on average, um, but some people have yielded up to 30 degrees difference. Now, obviously, if you were to use liquid metal between the IHS and the CPU cooler, you will get an even better um, average temperature. So, but obviously I did want to, I was going to do that testing, but I actually run out of liquid metal and I just wanted to get this out there because there's a lot of people slagging DeWid in off and is it worth it? Oh, obviously you avoid your warranty, but you can go to Overclockers UK and buy pre dealer chips and they've already, you know, used liquid metal and sealed it for you. So you can obviously buy them like this and they do operate better and they generally give a little more headroom for overclocking as well which is fantastic um but yeah if you like this video please leave a like leave a comment in the description below not in the description below leave a comment below has this video been helpful do you think it's been a complete waste of time i don't care let me know in the comments below i, I really i do rep try to respond to every comment it's quite hard when there's like 400 videos to do it but i do try my best but yeah Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button. When I say guys, I mean girls and guys. I'm not sexist, I promise. But yeah, thanks for watching, folks, and ciao for now.